Over the last decade, the illegal trade in ivory has more than doubled, and the African elephant has paid dearly. Conservationists estimate around 5,000 a year are killed, and African elephants remain on the U.S.'s endangered species list. But restrictions on importing elephant trophies from legal hunts in Zimbabwe and Zambia have been lifted. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service say well-regulated hunting helps raise cash for conservation efforts. Hunting advocates have long campaigned for the rollback and say the benefits are huge. When you look at the dollars that hunting brings in, you're looking at funding for the conservation departments in those countries. Most of their funding, it does not come from the government coffers. It comes from hunting. Among the trophy hunters are likely to be some of America's wealthiest, including President Trump's sons. They've hunted in Zimbabwe in the past. Now they can bring home what they killed. The shift in U.S. policy comes just days after Interior Secretary Ryan Zink set up a council to look at the benefits of U.S. citizens traveling abroad to hunt. In a statement, the people for the ethical treatment of animals said, if President Trump allows baggage carousels to be filled with elephant feet and heads from corrupt Zimbabwe, he will have fashioned himself after its president, Robert Mugabe, who slaughters all in his path. Critics say allowing ivory trophies into the U.S. legally undermines hard-fought campaigns to stop the trade, campaigns previously spearheaded by the United States. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera.